Simon Cafferty for Split Decision MMA UK here at Cage Predators 1 in Blackburn. Uh, we've had a, the first cage boxing fight on the night, and I'm here with the winner, Martin Chester. You know, ma majority decision victory for you there, and you just said it was your first boxing fight. Um, how did you find the whole experience? Good experience, can't wait to go again. You were um, in there, you really controlled him, especially in that third round, you were picking him apart with some really good shots. Did you think you were going to finish him at any point? Um, I looked like I rocked him a few times in first, second and third, but Wayne's a tough lad, I knew he was before I took the fight, so... And did he hurt you at all with any shots? I know you just mentioned it, hey, you got a nice little headbutt at one point. Yeah, yeah give me a good headbutt at first, it made me go a bit dizzy, but other than that, no, not really. And with um, fighting, uh, you fight primarily MMA, should I say, so to go into boxing, does it a bit more, do you find it a bit more easy to do because you don't have to worry about all the other aspects that are involved in MMA, you just have to stand there. You still have to have technique to it, if that makes sense. Um, I've gone into boxing just to work with stand-up for MMA. Uh, that's my skill I'm lacking in MMA, so you can, you can only practice your boxing in a boxing ring. Can't, if I get rocks, I can't take them down, I've got to weather the storm, so that's why I'm doing boxing, work on MMA game. But it, like you said, it didn't seem like he, he troubled you at all. He, he was more on the outside. You were controlling the centre. Did you expect the fight to go like that? Was, was that your plan? Um, my plan was to stay at centre, keep on my jab. Pick, 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 land a big shot and it seemed to work. And you've um, fought him at MMA before, we obviously like we said, it's a totally different thing. Yeah. You're like two up on him now. Yeah. Is that like a good feeling where you've kind of come in, first boxing fight and gone, well I can beat you at this and I can beat you at MMA? No, it's just uh, it's the way it works out. Wins the top lads. Everyone from Blackburn Pen the top lads and uh, we both went to work our stand up, we just come. So we took it. Good experience. Definitely a good and like, like you said, when you fight MMA, brilliant at submissions, but I still think your stand up's just as good because when you fought Ashley Reese, uh, um, you know, you caught him a few times and that fight could have been over. Yeah, that fight, uh, the game plan was to take him down, but uh, I put him down at first, opened the minute, and just decided to stay standing, which worked until the very end. And taking that on, are you hoping, after this fight, are you hoping to get back into MMA soon, or are you just going to see what happens? Uh, see what happens, I'm just going through the motions, I'm just, getting in, just enjoying training again. So we'll see what happens, what comes up. And you do train with the best of them. I love how you just described Steve Nightingale, the little steadhead. I think that's the line of the night so far. Um, is there anyone you want to give a shout out to or thank? Uh, just my sponsors, uh, Miller's Taxis, RSM, Scrap Metal, uh, Longwood Scaffolding, the old top lads, all helped me out. So. Appreciate it very much. And it's always good to see you compete. I really enjoy it. You're never in a boring fight, and uh, enjoy celebrating that one. Well, thank you very much. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you.